So for today, the idea of this video is simple in theory, but difficult in execution. I will be attempting to say every single thing that my brain is thinking, focusing on the most important things as your mouth will never move as fast as your thoughts, of course. Now keep in mind, I'm also top 10 in both 3v3 and 2v2. I'll be queuing for both. These games will be pretty difficult and pretty high levels. So hopefully I can stay at a pretty good level of skill, even though I'm talking throughout the whole game, because it can be quite distracting for me. But I will do my best to provide as much information as possible within the span of a five minute match. Hopefully this doesn't become a dumbled mess of words, and hopefully someone out there learns something. If they do, that's all that matters. Enjoy. Alright, here comes our first attempt. We got Sleppy and Kings in our teams. Pretty good players. So right now I'm going to try and get a front flip into a, across the, the middle of the ball. Get it across the middle field. Get the midfield boost. Let's get in the right. It's a good pass, but Electric's there. I see Evan's going to touch the ball, so I'm going to get ready for his next touch. Good cutoff. I could get here to shoot. Be back four for Kings. They're not going to make it. Close. I can turn on this. Actually, my teammate's there. One left mid. Move around the boost. Just try to stay on the boost pads. He's going to pop it over him, so I'm already ready for that next touch. He's going to go to the left corner. He's going to tap it along the wall, so that way Slubby can get the ball. It's a bad touch, but I'll just stay with it. I'm going to get a flip reset here. Get over him. I'm just going to try and get it past me. Evan pops it around him. Get in the back right corner. I don't really care about the other boost pads right now because I've already got full speed. See King's touch. Evan's going to beat him. Electric's going to beat me. I got it now. There we go. I'm going to go back, get back mid boost right away. I'll wait for, I guess I'll go in front because he's there. Keep it close with that touch so it stays with me. Fake him. I'm going to pop it over the last guy. Oh, never mind. It's all good. I'm gonna get behind. He's gonna beat him. Nice. Just waiting for a pad in mid. Get 36. Then get the mid boost or back corner boost. Nice dunk. It's gonna be stealth on the 50. Electric's there. I can turn on this. There we go. I got the boost, but I ended up dying. It's fine. Hopefully, I'm spawning right here. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. It's way too high for stealth to do anything dangerous. I'm gonna get the back right corner at the time. Doesn't have a flip. Evan. It looks like Evan's gonna take it. I'm gonna go on this. They're their last panicked. They're both panicking. I'm going to leave the ball and try to bump one of them. Teammate's not there. He should have been there. I need to get back left. Close. It's okay. I'm going to keep this close by touching it lightly like this. And he gives it back to me. Try and shoot it. I'm zero boost. I'm not going to go for the ball. Try and bump one of them and get their corner. I still he's going to get B here, but he's going to try and 50. It's over to me. Let's shoot. Let's make it awkward. Stealth's going to have a touch first. Good wait by my teammate. Electric's waiting for that pass. This could be a good pass by them. I'll pop it up nice and high. No one's really ready for that touch. It's a good touch, but it's also awkward. They could probably score here. Nice try. I'm going to turn awkwardly in this corner. It's all right. This boost should hopefully spawn. Doesn't spawn. You can left mid. Sleppy gets a good touch, but could be a beat. My teammates ready? They're not ready. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get the corner again. I'll move back. Take this mid too. That way uh, they don't have any pressure. Teammate's gonna wait for that. I'm gonna catch it here. No one here, so I'm gonna catch it first. Team, to my teammate. Nice. Just gonna force him out. I wasn't really ready for that shot. My teammates weren't ready for me to miss that. Get behind. Electric's gonna have a flick here. He's going for a demo. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Good touch. Try to touch it again. Just focus there for a second. I'm gonna try and move across. I don't have the I don't have the possession on the ball, so I'm gonna wait for my one of my teammates to have full boost. Get the back right corner. Hopefully one of them can turn. I can get a boom here. So I'm trying to time it so that I go behind the ball and then get some speed into the boost. That's bad to touch. I'm gonna put it around him, then hopefully my teammate can follow. It's a little bit slow, it's fine, he has time. You can let that bounce a few more times. Get the back right corner. King should have that. It's a little bit slow. Turn on this sleppy mid. Just gonna touch it around the, to the net. That's their last. Kings can shoot. There we go. Oh, let's try. I got a little bit of an air roll there to make sure I shoot that well. I got the back right corner some time. Slubby should take control since he's alone. So I want to support him. It's going to be one of them with a 50 50. So I'm going to wait for Kings. There we go. Make it a bounce shot. That's awkward. Both of them. Teammate can turn. Nice boom. I'm going to turn on this again. Evans backwards. I should have shot that. Touch it again, though. That's both of them. Good. I'm going to bump their last. They can go in net. Threaten the backwards touch. There we go. Evan's going to touch it. 
Slep it's over Sleppy, I'll go. Never mind, Sleppy's gonna touch it. It's a bad cut. I'll wait for the, the touches off the, the ceiling here. Nice, it's alright. Teammate's turning in the corner. I'm gonna wait for the touch. Electric's gonna cut that off now. I'm gonna try getting in the way of this. Just trying to rush it. I'm gonna get this boost pad. Move back. So that's a bad touch by Stealth. Gives it away. Can't touch it again. Get mid boost. Teammate's not following up. I got the mid boost and the little touch here. It's a bad throw away. There's no one really there. This guy's gonna try and touch it. That's not really good. Running your teammate. I thought that was the blue guy. Come back left. It's a bit of a throw away. To be able to cut it off. Electric's gonna have this. One of our teammates died, so I gotta watch the mid. I stay with this. Hopefully I can get a delay. Oh, it's close. Only a full boost. Get the right mid. Slabby should cut it off. Could be a shot for my teammate. I'm gonna put this down. There it is. Okay, so let's get the let's get the cheat up here. Just a slight touch. This boost. I don't wanna go any further than that. It's a good it's a good play. Close. I can turn on this. No one's backwards. I'm gonna th threaten the backward touch. Teammate went again. I already set it up myself. It's fine. I get left mid. It's across to me. It's over one. Let's get the boost. Bump stealth. Good cut by kings. No one's really there. I bumped my teammate by accident. Should be alright though. If he wants it, off the touch. One more maybe. I pop it up, up above. Both of them panicking. Teammate's really far away. Should be a shot opportunity. Speed boost should spawn. Stealth's gonna beat me, so he's gonna pop it. Might get a double here. He's gonna stay with it on the air dribble here. I get a low 50 50. Goes across the mid. Teammate is. Their teammate is really confused. Should just be a beat by him. It's a good beat. Shouldn't have turned there. Should have waited. Good touch. Stay with it. It's gonna be my teammate. Hopefully, he can pop it left. I'm dead. Back right, we get the boost. Wait for Electric's touch. There it is, just pass it to me. Gonna fake it, make it a little awkward. King should go on this. He's a little bit confused. There we go. Should be sleppy now. Nice. Gonna wait for the mid boost here. Just gonna get the little pads. This could be a pretty good boom, so I'm gonna turn. Get this to the right. Teammate, if, if my teammate turns, this could be a goal for them. It's all right. Hopefully one of my teammates can go. They both panic, and I gotta wait for the bump. I'm gonna get bumped here. Good cut. No one hits the ball. I'm gonna pop it over him. Sleppy's really slow. He needs to keep moving. There you go. King's coming in. Could be a boom, but it's kind of awkward. So I'm gonna let the ball bounce and then come in on this. Pop it over him. I try and rush this so I can get it over him. Doesn't go on target. I'm gonna actually get the left corner boost because he's gonna take a while to control it. Start starving the defense. Our third does go on this ball. I don't wanna go on this yet. I'm just gonna fake it so that way he throws it to me. Kind of threw it back to him, but he missed. Just gonna stay with the ball. I'm gonna get this mid before one of them does it. It's gonna be a pop over the net. Teammate went again. I probably shouldn't have cut there. It's a good try. I can't. That's way too high. It's over Evan. Our third can't really go on this yet. It's a good fake. It's over the third. Electric's gonna have another touch off the corner here. Don't wanna keep that too far away from our net. That's fine. I thought that was the blue team again. Let's get pads behind. Hopefully, he can go on this. It's their last. Pop it high. It's a good bump. Probably just should have shot that high and pressured. Pop over the one. One's on the ceiling. It's fine. Should be a return. It's catching it, maybe? It's a fine boom, actually. It's over. Trusting my teammate here. Stealth might not go on this. We'll see. Bump him a little bit to be clear. Get this boost from stealth. I'm gonna sit behind just to pick up some pads while I keep my speed. Should be a pass across. Nice. Maybe a finish. It's gonna be stealth first, so I don't wanna go on this yet. If he touches it again, it'll be able to cross over his teammates. That's a throwaway. Slip should be able to touch this in the corner. Try to get this boost it's across. Try to boom this in the net. Hit the ceiling so it's not as far. Hopefully, you can touch. Nice. I'm gonna wait for Stealth to come at me, then jump over him. Evan's there. Let's touch it across the corner. It's okay if my teammate jumps. Should be him on the turn. It's a good pop. I'm not gonna beat him to this ball, so I'm just gonna fake it. Hope the boost spawns. Teammates are super far away right now, but it should work out. There we go. I'm gonna move up for this mid boost. Throw away. 
try and get the way into both of them. They kind of pop it awkwardly. I'm going to bump stealth to be a shot. And there's the finish. Whew, my mouth is super dry. <laughs> I know I tripped up a few words, but basically just thinking about every single thing and like whenever I see my teammates do something I don't like, I try to readjust and make sure I cover them. But it was a pretty good game. Uh, a few opportunities I could have finished, but it's really hard when you're talking like that constantly to try and uh, place your shots and stuff. So I was missing a few things I probably shouldn't have, but overall it's a pretty good game. So we ended up getting MVP and eight points actually. So we should be pushed up a little bit on the leaderboard as well. I need some water. <laughs> so I think the main takeaway for this kind of video is the fact that when I'm playing the game, my, my brain's never on autopilot. I need to always be thinking about what I'm doing next and uh, what my next action is going to be, what I need to do for my teammate, or you know, how do I how am I going to support my teammate? Or if I go right here, is it going to affect my teammate in a negative way? So that's what I kind of do, especially in solo queue. In comms, it's a little bit easier because you can communicate with your teammate, but you you can't read the minds of the players that you're with. So um, if you find that you're not able to rank up, maybe you're stuck in platinum or diamond or something, and you find that you're just playing through the game and just going like, maybe I'll hit this, maybe I'll go for this, maybe I'll do this. Should I go for this? Just be confident. Say I'm gonna go for this, and the more you do that the more you realize, okay, I told myself I'm going to go for this. It didn't work. So next time I will tell myself I'm not going to go for that. Like the situations always present themselves again. And I think that's the biggest thing about like the high level players is that they take the experiences that they, they gained from all the, all the hours of play and ranked and stuff. And what they do is they just go, okay, if I see that situation again, I'm not going to mimic what I did last time because it could go wrong. So we just basically risk check and uh, take the best option out of all of it. It's basically a game of 40 chess. Um, maybe that's just me, because I know a lot of people say they just turn their brain off and play, but I think that's like a really good way to make sure that you don't uh, mess up in the same way that you have in the past. So that's my little takeaway. I'm sure I'll have more to say after the last game. All right, so we got a bit of a different dynamic this time. We've got a 2v2. We got Bullseye on my team versus Waves and No Mansion. So let's go see if I can get this the ball to stop here by going in the middle of the ball. Should go to my teammate first. Close. Should bounce it to me. I'm going to stay with this ball here. Get a bit of a flick. There it is. Yeah, so th what I do there is I go up a little bit offline and then bring it back in. So you don't want to go towards net because it makes it way too easy to defend. I'm going to cheat up slightly here and see what happens. I'm watching wave during the kickoff. That's how I can see where it's going to go. I'm going to fake that so it comes across. I'm getting bumped a little bit. I'm going to get my boosts taken. So that effectively leaves these boosts. Lets me get some pads. Strange rotation by my teammate. It goes around me, but it's fine. I'm going to get 36. I'm going to come across. My teammate wants to go again. It's very interesting. He doesn't let it go past me. I gotta be aware of that. He's gonna bump me here or something. I'll keep it close. So we're stuck in defense because of Bullseye's touches here. He's jumping again. I'm really worried about my teammate right now. I'm not liking how uh, scared he is. Seems like he's very nervous. I'm gonna get 36 boost. Go for the touch. It's off. Pop it across just in case that guy wants to challenge. There's the one. There's the one. He'll go across. He passed me the ball. Stay with this ball here. Try to pop it over and that doesn't work. I'm going to go back. It's a good pop by my teammate. Good beat. Wave's going to go on this. It's a good touch. He took my corner, so I'm, I'm going to be low here. I don't want to use all my boosts. It's fine if he goes right away. Teammate should be, be there. It's a bit awkward touch. It's over. He might turn on the shot. There we go. I'm just going to keep it close to the wall. We got 13 boosts. Wait for him. He has to go now. Cause my teammate's going to get... Okay. Well... <laughs> my team's gonna get beat, I said. I was trying to say my team's gonna get beat if he doesn't just challenge, and he didn't challenge, so we get shot on. That's okay. Let's try to go back left here. There we go. Not a big fan of how my teammates play. I missed the boost. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna stay with this ball here. Pop it up high around him. Kill the one. I'm gonna pop this backwards a little bit. It's gonna go up. We got back left corner here. All I'm focusing is on back left corner. Teammate does challenge it well. Pop it high so that Waves has to touch the, touch the ball out. Teammate should have a reverse clear here. It's alright. I have again. I'm gonna stay with this. The low 50 50. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this teammate's not great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, he's not playing the best. He's positioning really aggressively and then just making touches that he doesn't have to. I see my teammate going back to the left, so I'm gonna touch that ball there. See if he can stay with the ball. Get a flip reset, maybe. Pop it over him. Get the corner boost. Make sure I stay with the ball. I turn on this pretty aggressively. Get a 50-50. Get the corner. Teammate should be there. Maybe he can pass it to me. He's going to probably 
challenges maybe. It's across my teammate. Shh, good shot. That's a good finish. That's a lot better. So he's positioning in midfield for my uh, for my touches. Just waiting for it. Maybe just nervous. I've never played with this guy before, so maybe he is a little bit nervous. Let's see if we can get a touch. Get a beat on me. That's fine. I'm going to get a few pads. Not really dangerous yet. Nice touch. Good defense. I'm going to just wait with the 20, 33 boost here. I'm going to boom this. My teammate is going to probably pass it back in mid. There we go. I should be able to beat him there. I'm going to get the back left corner. Should be a free touch. Get 50. Team wants to go again, so I'm just going to wait for his touch. I don't want to go on this. Especially because no mansion's waiting in mid to try and touch me <laughs> in some way. Like bump me or something. Good cut. I'm up. To beat him here. So I make sure I hit that off the corner so it booms back into mid and he can score the open net. That's a lot better. It's playing better now. So I think it was just nerves. So it's good that I make sure I hit that corner so it bounces back into mid a lot faster. Okay, I'm going to get the 50 there. Can't even talk about what I want to talk about. Like I usually do in my TVT videos. Should be a beat by Bullseye. I shouldn't have taken that mid maybe. Because then he could have had boost. Wait for the flick. Should be a boom to the left side. There we go. So I make sure I get a little bit of an air roll to the left. So I'll make sure I'll watch that again so that you can see the angle I take. That way I can get it underneath the crossbar. That's a good flick by him too. That little air roll to the left makes it just a little more accurate for me. I'm going to cheat up here. Wave dash. As made famous by the Cobb himself. I'm wait for no mansion here on the backboard. It's a bit of a throwaway. So even if he hits that across, it's not going to matter. And if he turns on this, he's out of the game. There we go. Just pop it across. I get my boost stolen or demoed, that's fine. Since I was pretty low, both result wouldn't wouldn't really matter. Alright, so he gives the ball away, that's fine. I'm gonna wait for no mansions flick. Get in the way of waves since he went. I would have just backed off if he didn't go, but surprised he didn't go there, so I just boomed it over him. I get back left corner. Good cut by my teammate. No mansion might have a touch here. See if Bulls I can get the mid and then turn. It's a good flick by him. His teammate goes, he might challenge this right away. I'm going to wait for his touch afterwards. That way I can fake it and then come across, take the boost. He's still pretty low. I don't really care about the ball right now. My teammate can come in and make a touch. Maybe another one. There we go. And they left for boost. So there we go. There's a free open net. Not as close to the last game. Uh, we actually brought it back and the game's over already. So um, that was a pretty quick game. Uh, I think I made a quick judgment on my teammate, uh, which wasn't really necessary. I think I could have just let him, you know, figure himself out. I think he was a bit nervous because he's making really, really panicky rush touches for no reason at the beginning but he did play well at the end and we uh, ended up getting a pretty convincing win so as i was saying i think the biggest thing is just to make sure you don't autopilot so i think as long as you're constantly thinking uh what i've what i've said on my streams before if you don't catch my streams uh it's twitch.tv slash let them underscore rl basically what i do is i talk about um how people may may autopilot in ranked and just think okay i know what i'm doing i'm gonna do this but if you're in platinum your autopilot is a platinum autopilot so basically you want to push your minimums up a little bit more and you want to push your maximums up so that way when you're talking through your gameplay in your head you keep telling yourself i'm going to be doing this and then as you make changes uh, as you make mistakes then you'll try to mitigate those as you play the game so i hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video it was a lot of fun i'm pretty <laughs> i'm pretty tired after that my brain is really sore but it was a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed